Okay. Uh, most of my videos are just me sharing things that I've made or I'm working on. Uh, tonight I was making another key pendant for, uh, I, I don't know how you say it, my, the wife of my cousin. Cousin-in-law? She uh, commented on one of my things on my uh, steampunk persona profile. And I said, and, I, and she's like, oh, I wish I had the buddy for this or something. And I'm like, you're married to my blood. You can have one. Um, plus, I like to share things. And um, I don't know, it makes it feel good to make things for people. But uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but since I was working on things, my fingers were already completely covered in glue, which was impossible to get off. When they tell you that you could use acetone nail polish, they lied. I basically had to take a file and rub it against my fingertips until it came off because I tried different oils that I had. Soy oil, I had mineral oil, almond oil. I tried just sucking on them, but there was so much this time that nothing could get them off except for the nail file. They look pretty good now. <laughs> um, but the first thing I wanted to show you was this. It was the first, I, I think I was going to my first steampunk event. It looks better when I do my bangs differently <laughs> and pull up my hair. And my mom made it. It was made out of a, let's see, a regular black um, headband, like the thicker, poofy kind that, you know, we all wore in the 90s. <laughs> but they still sell them now because it's, like, popular, I guess, to start making headbands again. And she took this flower, oh, it's hard to do on the video, this flower and some of these other flowers that we got on clearance after Christmas one time or these feathers, and she glued them on there with some other little pretty doodads. We have tons of random doodads, and then a piece of lace, and it turned out perfectly, just considering how much, like, it's made out of stuff around in our house. It's because we're really crafty people. We have so much crap in our house that if we wanted to make something, we pretty much could do it out of the stuff we have here. Just like with my steampunk mask, I think I made a video on all of that was made from everything that I had at home already. So, <laughs> um, I keep looking at it because it's right there, and I keep staring at it. It's on my lamp. But um, tonight I added all the little gears and cogs. I never know what the difference is between a gear and cog. I keep reading about it, looking at pictures, but then I forget the second I'm done reading about it. So I always do like gear slash cog. But anyway, I glued all these on to add a little bit of a steampunk flair. Yes, I know some of you are going to say you can't add gears to it and call it steampunk, but guess what? I'm poor and it counts. <laughs> um, so that's my first thing. So basically I just oomphed something that I, I already had created because it was lacking a little something. It looked very belly dancerish to me, which isn't a problem, but I wanted it to be more steampunk. Okay, this is a feather, or a little grouping of feathers, that I got at Michael's like years and years ago, and I never used it. They still sell these there. They're like three or four dollars, which is kind of ridiculous, but if you use your 50 or 40 percent off coupon that they usually send out, you should be fine. But um, it was a really, had a really long stem. And I, I think I folded it into my hair once, but it was too long and it looked silly because it just stuck out like this. And I felt like it was too over the top because I'm a very plain person in real life. I usually wear t-shirts, like dorky men's t-shirts that say things like good witch or has different Viking sayings and stuff on it because I'm a nerd. It's just it's what I wear. Jeans, chucks, and a black shirt with something on it. Um, so it was a little too feminine for me. But I added some of these today and I cut off the stem. So usually with my steampunk persona, I wear my hair parted down the middle with my sides twisted up here and pinned. That way I can wear, I have a different, I don't know where it's at right now. Um, it's probably, I don't want to get up and wet it actually, I remember. <laughs> a little head, or a little um, hair stick with uh, chains hanging down holding like a peacock feather and other things in my bun. But I was think, recently considered taking bobby pins and using wire and wire wrapping um, little beads at the top because that thing kind of gets in the way. It ends up hanging really low here and um, my hair is very fine so I can't wear any of the other hair dad doodads that I make like this because I'd want to wear multiple of them and I, all of these are on the, my Well and Spindle Etsy shop. I have a ton of them on there and um, I'm going to think I'm going to do a video on my other YouTube channel, the Well and Spindle, showing um, how to wear those because a lot of people I don't get it for some reason. But anyway, so I'm considering taking my hair and putting it in a bun and putting it this way. So you can see it sticking out the back or folding it the other way so people can behind me can see it. And it's going to stick in a little bit more. I just wanted you to be able to see it. But I like kind of how that looks. We can see it a little off the side. And then from behind, I'm sure it'll look great. Well, I think it'll look great. I don't know what other people will think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what I've made tonight other than um, some more key things. And I listed a whole ton of uh, vials and stuff today as well. And my mono goggle that I made a video of. 
So I'm not quite sure what I want to work on next. So much stuff I can make. Um, I'm thinking of making grubby bottles next because I have some vials that I can't really use and some random bottles that I already put away I was going to show you that I don't even really know what to do with. So I'm going to make them grubby and I will do a video on that later once I actually get it done. So thank you for watching.